What is good? I'm back with another multiverses type of video and today I'm here to explain how to play Jason Voorhees in multiverses, okay? Now I know the game has been out for um, almost three weeks now, now that I think about it. It's almost been out for uh, almost three weeks. Um, but you know a lot of people very excited for jason i'm not sure if too many people are really playing jason like that because i, I mean you know not too many people are a fan of playing like big characters like that and with jason jason doesn't have too much on the table versus other characters to where he can like really apply pressure or really move fast or anything like that which is understandable i mean first this this, this is a this is a big character and by the way this is me recording this video after the recent patch that we just got i believe it was yesterday so uh yeah so where you know jason got a buff to where he can actually um he could block projectiles with his dash attack so yeah but uh like i was saying though um I'm gonna go ahead and explain how to play Jason. I feel like a lot of people are struggling how to play this character because for one, the character moves slow. Um, he, his moves are pretty slow. It doesn't come out as fast as other characters. So most of the time, like when it comes to uh, who gets their move off first, it will most likely be the other character versus Jason. Cause Jason, he's not really, he's not a fast character. He's a big character who can get comboed easily, can take a lot more damage easily. Uh, but because he's a big character, he doesn't die as easily. You know, he doesn't, um, he doesn't really die as easily. You gotta get him at a pretty high percentage. But in this game, you know, if you got a character that can like really carry or anything like that, or is really good at edge guarding, you know, you could really space out Jason and knock him out. But I'm here to explain all these things about how to play Jason better than, um, you know, then um, better than how you probably play Jason. You know, maybe you are watching this guide video because you wanna figure out how to play this character and how to feel comfortable playing this character. So uh, let's start off with the basic moves, right? So, you know, Jason got his uh, standard three string jab. You know, he has two slashes that can end off in a grab that you can throw either forward or back up so it could be good for the uh, mix up. You know? Uh, he also has his little down smash where it's a stump, uh, which brings the opponent upwards. Now, at a decent percentage, around like, I want to say like 40, if I remember correctly, um, like 40 or 50, you can do down smash into uh, this. We're going to get more into the moves, but, you know, something basic you can do. Um, around around in the decent higher percentages, you could combo off of that down smash. But earlier percentages, not really. I mean, you can... Um, you know cancel the jab into it so yeah but we're gonna get more into that later uh next you have this up smash which is this bed which you know jason pulls the opponent and brings them upward um pretty it's a pretty strong move uh honestly i say it's one of jason's good moves but if you do miss this you are in a lot of end lag you are punishable like as you can see i am like you can hear me i am flicking my controller trying to move like it, it's it's a lot it's a lot so it don't whiff that move if you whiff that move you are very punishable and the opponent can punish you in any way they want to do um i mean unless they mess up if they mess up hey that's on them <laughs> take your <laughs> take yourself and run <laughs> and then uh lastly if his uh basic uh neutral attacks on the ground is his neutral attack which is this overhead axe move which you can charge if you want to or you could just press it and he'll just slam the axe down uh, now the thing is with these basic attacks that Jason can do this right here would be your bread and butter For when you want to uh, use this attack and then combo into it for another attack So like this you could just do the basic three hit jab sequence or you could do Jab jab it's a down smash, which is a true combo. You could do jab jab it's a up smash which is a true combo or you could do Jab into a neutral attack, which is also a true combo. So you could do stuff like this um, there's a lot of things that you could do with Jason's jab that makes him cancel into his other moves, which makes him good for a lot of mix-ups that you can do, which we'll get more into later. So yeah. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is his aerial attacks. Starting off with his neutral air, which is one of my favorite moves for Jason. Uh, it's this little, you know, this little, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, but it's a little, little axe swing. I'm going to just call it a little axe swing, uh, which covers a, which covers a pretty good uh, amount of uh, space with Jason. Uh, I can use this. I use this move for like spacing or when it comes to uh, drag, jumping over the opponent, getting behind them and then dragging them for a combo. So, um, yeah, but I, I really recommend using this move when it comes to like spacing out or when it comes to getting behind your opponent and then to drag them just so that you can combo them like so. 
So yeah. Uh, next up his moves is his side air, which is also really good. Does pretty good damage. It can kill at higher percentages. Um, has really good knockback, really good damage, and it's really good for spacing too. Has pretty decent range, as you can see. Uh, so I usually use this move when it comes to... A lot of times I'll use it for edge guarding. I'll use it for um, dodge mix-up reads. I use it for spacing uh, to like, hey, to keep, tell the opponent to keep off of me. Or sometimes to use this move to make the opponent kind of bait themselves into me so that way I can follow up with whatever type of punish is necessary to follow up with. So yeah. The next one of his attacks is his down air, which is one of his, you know, really strong attacks. Where he does this like really big overhead slam, which can knock the opponent up. Um, I mainly would recommend, th this move is really good. It, this move can be really good as a combo starter at... Uh, especially around starting around like the 20 percentile it could be really good as a combo starter and the further the percentage goes up against the character this move can be a startup for a kill combo uh which we'll get into later but i would recommend using the down there when it comes to whiff punishing um so uh for example um we'll make shaggy do his like normal attack right so as you can see um I would recommend when you would like when you so to whiff punish right in case you don't know what whiff punishing is is uh let's say a par uh, a character a person throws out an attack but you were able but like that attack was nowhere near hitting you or anything or you were able to read that they were gonna hit you and you was able to dodge okay because they whiffed their attack now you get to punish them which goes for the which is why it's called with punish so what i could do right here is jump over shaggy and with punish him uh, i could jump over shaggy's attack and with punish him with down air. so yeah that, but again i i personally recommend you doing down air as um uh, as a whiff punish or if you can get the dodge read then go ahead and do that but i most likely recommend it uh as a whiff punish so yeah and then, uh, lastly, of his um, uh, air attacks is his up air, which is like a two-hit poke string. Uh, pretty good. It can kill, like, really off of the top, uh, but it's a really good um, string you could do. So, kind of like how I told you, you can combo um, jab, jab, and up smash. You can also, after the up smash, you can follow this move up with the, um, up air. Uh, usually, most of the time, uh, opponents would DI to the right. So, usually, when you get the up smash, you will want to like jump to the right just a little bit with Jason, so that way you can catch the full uh, string. Uh, but I got the I got Shaggy and Hit Stun, so yeah. But sometimes you just gotta read the opponent if you want to get the full two hit string. But it's a little difficult at times, but it's still worth it because you're still getting damage and you're still knocking the opponent back at the same time. So it's all worth it at the end of the day. Um, so yeah. Now, let's go into Jason's special attacks, okay? The first thing we want to talk about is Jason's neutral special attack, which is his rage, all right? This is, uh, honestly, one of Jason's best moves, in my opinion. Uh, so, you have two things that you could do with rage. You could just press it to just, you know, immediately get your armor. Well, let me explain this first. When you use Jason's neutral special, his rage, you're sacrificing a bit of your health for armor. So, as you can see, you see two numbers. You see the number 10, and you see the number 8. The number 10 represents the armor that Jason has. The number 8 represents what Jason's health is at now. As you can see, now that I don't have armor no more, Jason's new standard health now is 8, because I sacrificed some health to have armor. So, you know, again, if you just press Rage, you're sacrificing 8 health for 10 armor. And as you can see, I now have 10 armor, and I sacrificed 8 health, uh, well, 8 more health, and now my health is at 16 you can also charge this move but if you charge this move you gain more armor but you also sacrifice more health so you gain 20 armor if you charge this move but you sacrifice 15 health if you charge this move now you might be wondering if you don't know but you might be wondering why why would i want to charge it you know why would i want to um why would i not just press it or anything like that so i'm going to explain the other thing about uh jason's rage defensively wise i should say so as you see if you press if you press the rage his neutral special uh you gain 10 armor now keep that in mind i'm saying he, you gain 10 armor right 
Now, you know, like, you know, like, if you have armor, you know, you'll be able to take a hit, right? Now, I got 10 armor. Shaggy's neutral attack does 12 damage. So, 12 is greater. So, 12 damage will most likely be greater than 10 armor, right? So, what would that look like? Boom. I got knocked back. Like I said, Shaggy's neutral attack does 12 damage. And Jason's, um, when you press Jason's rage... His armor gives him 10 armor. As you can see, I actually got knocked back from Shaggy. And I took a two additional damage because, you know, um, 12 is greater than 10 by 2. And when you sacrifice health uh, with Jason, at least if you just press it, you sacrifice 8 of your health. But since I took two additional damage um, after the armor, I my health now is at 10. So, basically, the point I'm trying to make it is, is that if a character does an attack, um, and that damage is greater than the armor, it will actually damage Jason and knock Jason back. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, my 20 armor is greater than Shaggy's 12 damage. So, that allows me to tank that hit, and I'll still be able to, like, follow up with an attack. As you can see. Now... Um, you might be wondering in cases to where you should just use the regular, uh, charge or the full charge. Honestly, I say it depends. Uh, I, I feel like it depends on the character or it kind of depends on the situation that you're trying to put yourself through. Like, maybe you will want to just get yourself, maybe, like, for me, right? For example, for me, sometimes I would just, like, regularly press the neutral attack button. If I just want to, like, really get close to the enemy and I'll just, like, tank through that little hit. Um, but other times, if I really want to, like, scare my enemy, if I really want to punish them, most, nine times out of ten, I'm going to fully charge, and I'm going to be very patient and wait to whiff punish the enemy, uh, to see what their action is going to do, and after that, I just go ahead and whiff punish them, so, yeah. But, next of Jason's, uh, special attacks will be his side special, which honestly is one of his best moves, and one of his risky moves at the same time, but basically, if you're very up close to an opponent, you will teleport, um, the, well, the initial teleport at the start has a hitbox, which can knock the opponent back, so, at very higher percentages, uh, this move can kill, um, I don't know if this is gonna because this this stage has a very wide blast on it and everything with the training mode but you can do a basic standard combo of jab jab into uh side special that well, this is pretty much your b and b kill combo at higher percentages so we're gonna do it again jab jab into side special that's pretty much your b and b uh kill combo especially at higher percentages um so yeah but there's another special thing that you could do with this uh move First off, you can also use this move in the air. So let me get that out of the way, right? Um, the thing is with this move, right? You can input buffer a move mid teleport. So you probably wondering what that means, right? So if I throw out a teleport, right? You know, I just walk out the teleport miss. But if you input a move while in the teleport, so let's say if I want to input neutral attack while teleporting, you could come out the teleport doing an attack. So this is really good, especially when it comes to wanting to mix up with Jason, which is why I said earlier in the video, Jason's mix ups come a lot from his teleport. Um, and a lot of whiff punishing can come from Jason's teleport too, if you can guess the opponent right. Because if you can and you guess the if you guess what the opponent can do and you do your teleport to whiff punish them, oh my god, the way you are going to combo or damage them will be crazy. So yeah, uh, but also keep in mind. This move is very easy to punish, okay? So, again, like I said, Jason's moves are pretty much like the slowest in the game. I, I feel like he has one of the slowest moves in the game, uh, or not the slowest moves in the game. So, it all comes down to uh, reading the opponent or knowing the situation well to know where you can throw out this move or throw out a move with Jason. So, yeah. Uh, next up, one of his special attacks is his up special, which is the axe grab to where he grabs the opponent up and slams them down. You can also, while after grabbing them, you can turn the other direction. And, you know, for mix-up purposes, you can throw the opponent to the other side. Um, really good. You can uh, combo this move after the first two jabs. It's an up smash. Um, it's a really nice uh, starter uh, basic combo that you can do. So, at, you know, at lower percentages, this is a nice, look, look at that, pretty decent damage like that. 
Um, I usually like to use this move a lot at lower percentages because after the up smash from the ground, opponents tend to like dodge a lot afterwards. So usually if they dodge inwards, you know, I try to read that so I can go for a side air. If they dodge outwards, you know, I'll like kind of scare them as I push in to see what their next move is going to be or I just punish them off if they doing nothing. So yeah. Um, and then the last one of his Jason's uh, special attacks is the ground special, of course, which is the sleeping bag, which uh, you can, if you if you are fast enough after grabbing, you can, uh, I believe, slam up to three times. Uh, probably not. I think, well, generally, the max you can really slam up to is two times, but you can also throw the opponent. Uh, does this move kill? This move doesn't really kill, but it's good for throwing the opponent off the stage so that way you can get ready to edge guard them and get ready to punish them in whatever way the scenario is. So, yeah. Um, next thing we can get into is Jason's neutrals. Um, neutral uh, specials. Well, not neutral specials. Uh, specials in the air. He only has three uh, specials in the air because we already discussed the side special in the air. Um, you know, which, you know, you can put a buffer of move in the air too. Teleporting in the air. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, starting off with the neutral special in the air, uh, Jason has this grab where he does three, uh, stabs into a slam. This move can kill at higher percentages and it sends the opponent, like, in a slant, like a downwards, uh, horizontal slant, which can kill the opponent offstage at higher percentages, um, which is really good. Uh, I usually like to use this move a lot when it comes to the opponent to dodging inwards to me or reading, uh, their dodges, uh, they try to dodge parry. So, yeah. Uh, next one of his um, aerial special moves to discuss is his down special um, in the air, where two things can happen. If you're very high enough in the air, you do down special in the air, Jason does just this little overhead slash coming down slam. But if you're close enough to the ground and you do down special, Jason does a... Oh, well, let me get it. Jason does a two-hit attack sequence where, um, depending on the character and depending on the distance of how you hit this, it is a true combo, but sometimes this move can whiff at higher percentages depending on the character, usually, because every character has different weights. Um, so if it was a heavy character or a character with a bigger hitbox than others, you know, it, it will combo a lot more easier. But for, like, smaller characters like Gizmo, uh, at higher percentages, you know, that full hit won't be a full combo string for them because they're a very light character. Uh, sometimes Harley, uh, depending on the distance of how you hit the character. Uh, but you can also um, do it from far away. So, you know, sometimes you want to bait your opponent out, catch them off guard. Uh, you can do it from back here and the second hit will still follow up. Um, you can actually combo off of the... Uh, if you jump high enough to where you just do one, the, the first attack in the air, you actually can combo that. Um, you could dodge cancel combo into that, which we're going to get more into later. But the final um, final aerial special is this us special where he does this crazy charged up uh, machete uh, slash upward. Uh, it can kill upwards. This is a very strong move of Jason. Usually, you're gonna uh, get this move off nine times out of ten after uh, Jason is down air, because this is a true combo down air into up special, and at higher percentages, this is a kill combo. Um, so I wasn't able to get it right there, but since I jumped higher, oh, I didn't get that. But you get the point that I'm saying. This is a kill combo that you can do down there into up special. Uh, it's really good. So yeah. Now let's get into the nitty gritty, right? So, if you already know, there's many characters that can do dodge cancels, right? Jason can also do some dodge cancels, like how I showed you with his aerial down special. If you jump high enough, you can do stuff like that, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna, sh I won't be able to show off everything, you know what I'm saying? But I'll just show off some stuff, basic stuff that you could do. Now, let's get into Jason's cancels, right? So like I said, you know, you can do basic cancels like jab, jab, into up smash, jab, jab, you cancel that into up special on the ground, jab, jab, into down smash, jab, jab, into side special. Uh, I believe that's pretty much, pretty much the basic uh, jab cancels that Jason can do. Now, um, you probably wonder, hey, can I combo into sleeping bag? No, you can't combo into sleeping bag after jab, jab. But you can combo into sleeping bag after the first jab. 
as you can see. And you're probably wondering why can I combo after why can I combo into the sleeping bag after the first jab? Because the first hit of J the first jab of J the first jab hit from Jason has a longer hit puts the opponent in a longer hit stun than the two jabs. So pay attention, right? If I hit the opponent with just one jab, like, look at that. They're in the hit stun. As you can see, they're in that hit stun animation for a while. But if I hit them with two jabs, they're not really in that hit stun animation that long. So that's why, because the opponent's in a longer hit stun after the first jab, you're able to combo. You're able to combo them into the sleeping bag, which honestly isn't bad because when doing this, first off, you're racking up pretty decent damage, and then secondly, you're throwing the opponent off stage, which helps, you, which helps you into you know putting the opponent at a disadvantage to where you know they have to probably burn through their meter to recover or whatever, which puts you at an advantage when it comes to edge guarding them or damaging them. So yeah, um, now I think they took this out, but um. Before, Jason was able to dodge cancel his first jab and um, into a, another jab. I don't know why they took this out. I think, I, I don't know if this is a bug or not. I'm going to need to ask them about that. But before, you were able to dodge cancel his first jab into another jab. And you could, you know, do that into, into this. I don't know why they took that out. I think that's a bug because they just say anything in the patch notes about jason not being able to do that so i don't know player first games i think we're gonna need to we're gonna need to talk about that okay so yeah um but um let me see oh i didn't even get to talk about this um first off let me change the character um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do morty uh so Jason, um, I forgot to explain this move because this is actually a new buff for Jason. Uh, Jason's dash attacks, um, they have, um, they, uh, it's, it's a pretty strong move. Jason's dash attack is pretty strong, but if you do with this move, um, you are very punishable, you know? Uh, it's pretty easy to dodge and everything, so I don't recommend doing dash attack as often. Uh, I mainly use, I say mainly use it for punishing purposes. Again, Jason is more of a, I'm going to punish you because you did this. He's not more of a very combo friendly character like you got with Joker or with Harley or with Bugs or with Batman or any other characters like that. This character is, hey, I'm going to punish you because you did this and I'm going to hit you hard because you did this. I need y'all to keep that in mind, okay? Now, the reason why I put Morty out is because I want to... Uh, show off uh, Jason's uh, dodge attack of what it can do now. So, as you can see, Jason's dodge attack, not dodge attack, dash attack, uh, blocks projectiles. I'm trying to input. I'm trying to input it as fast as I can. But uh, as you can see, his uh, dash attack blocks projectiles, and you know, if you could get through the projectiles, you will be able to whiff punish. Them. So. This is really good. Honestly, Jason needs this. It helps him because of, you know, Jason lacking a lot of things, some pressure into the opponent and uh, not really being able to uh, put as much pressure as he wants to into the opponent. This right here is a really good buff because it allows Jason to move more closer to the opponent, being able to punish them. So he honestly needed that buff. He, he, he really needed that buff. Um, and I think one more thing I didn't really get to explain with Jason is his neutral special. Um, if you still have your rage available, uh, your next uh, attack will be a lot stronger. And when I say a lot stronger, I mean a lot stronger. Any of his attacks. Oh, <laughs> but actually it was kind of good that I whiffed that because if you do just throw out an attack uh, after having rage, it's just going to go away. So, you know, that's why you want to make sure when you use your rage, you really want to hit your opponent. Like, look at that knockback. Look at that. Look at the knockback. Look at the knockback with no rage versus uh, with rage, right? It's really strong. Really strong. So, you know, of course, you're sacrificing health for armor. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you really do hit the opponent. So that way, you know, you're able to kill them. So that way, you know, like, look at this. Morty got sent flying because of you buffing yourself. So, yeah. But um, other than that, I think that's a pretty decent uh, basic Jason guide that I can give you. Um, 
again when it comes to jason i say the best way of playing neutral with jason right is when utilizing his teleport for mix-ups so uh you know especially like when you come out of the uh teleport uh when you get an attack off you know usually you could just dodge cancel four um for a mix-up so you know like this it's a side air or uh, which is usually the bread and butter that you would go for. Uh, you can do stuff like this. You can do uh, down special. Hold on, I'm sorry. You can do something like down special into up smash if you're close enough to the ground to dodge cancel. Or, uh, you know, if you're still in the air, you can dodge cancel into up air. Um, it might be a little hard to get it on Morty because Morty is, he's a little bit, uh, He's not as like his hitbox isn't really as big as other characters, but you you, you get the point. So um, there's certain fundamentals that you could do with Jason. So like again, you could do uh, why if you're high enough in the air to do the first hit of the down special in the air, you can dodge cancel that into the bed, or if you're still in the air and dodge cancel, you can do that into up air. Um, down air is strictly good for whip punishing. And, combo the down there and you know? um, his up special for a kill combo his jab can be canceled from the side special it can be canceled into the up special where you can also turn the opponent around it can be comboed into a down smash or it can be comboed into a neutral attack well the first jab can be comboed into the neutral attack. Jab into neutral attack combos, but jab, jab, neutral attack does not combo. I don't have the opponent to dodge this time, but trust me, it's not a true combo. Focus on the missions, jab, all right? Jab, neutral attack. That is the combo. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of I could give off for this Jason guide video. Hopefully, I did well at explaining how to play Jason. Um, and if you want to see how crazy my Jason is to where, you know, I'm kind of fact checking or backing up, you know, what I'm saying about Jason. I do have a Jason combo video that you guys can check out and it will show you the crazy things that Jason can do and the way how I usually utilize with playing Jason. Other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, go ahead, support your boy. We just hit 600 subs. I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me. And I'll see y'all in the next video.